God exists? Maybe yes, maybe no. But if my search is genuine, if my search is authentic, and I really begin to search in that direction, then a day will come, I will be able to prove to myself, not to the world, prove it to myself, that yes, I do experience the presence. What is it that keeps everybody going? What is, what is it that supports my physical life, my emotional life, my spiritual life? What is the soul about? Is it really there? Is God really a reality? And if that is the reality, how can I tap into that and experience that presence? If you are wondering about that, then only way is to go inward and feel, experience the presence people I interact with in my life and I ask them, do you really believe in God? And you know the most people, they say, yes, don't you think we believe in God? Don't we look like? But then you, when you ask them, why do you believe in God? They don't have an answer. Some people who do answer, they say, oh, my mom taught me that. My community says so, my religion says so, the holy scriptures say so. It's always someone. But when we ask, what about you? What is the foundation of your belief other than others? That no one has a real concrete answer. So in spirituality, we move away Though we may start with some belief, even if it is absurd belief that there is God. Even if you believe in, in, in God, but without experiencing, it remains an absurd hypothetical belief. And we remain satisfied with hypothetical belief. Spirituality is all about translating this belief through meditative experiences into reality. God exists? Maybe yes, maybe no. But if my search is genuine, if my search is authentic, and I really begin to search in that direction, then a day will come, I will be able to prove to myself, not to the world, prove it to myself, that yes, I do experience the presence. It's not only within me, but it is everywhere else too. You know, many scientists are baffled today with this idea of consciousness. And they, they keep wondering how to define consciousness. What is the origin of consciousness? Even in a lot of holy scriptures which were written almost 10,000 years back in India, it deals with consciousness and it deeply talks about various nuances of consciousness. Now, when you talk of the highest level of consciousness, which is experienceable in a superconscious state, in samadhi, how to describe that? I, one fails to describe. And that is why most people don't have faith in esoteric practices because such experiences are not um, communicable through words. Even simple things like you had an ice cream, mango ice cream. How are you going to describe the taste of mango ice cream? It's difficult. Even if you had mango ice cream yourself two years back or two days back, and I have mango ice cream now, I still cannot accept. But you will say, oh, you will translate that experience when I say I had mango ice cream based on your experience of two days back. But it can be totally, totally different. I may have a kesar ice cream, mango ice cream, and you may have had a mango 
which is Alfonso mango ice cream. So it can be absolutely different, but when you talk of absolute immutable experience of the highest, you often fail to describe because such experiences happen only when your ego is absent. The greatest saints of India, Saint Kabir, uh, he simply describes, you know, when young people, they ask him, Kabir Sahab, can you describe the ultimate state that you have experienced? He says, no, I can't. Even to say that much is impossible because he, he would say that it is like raindrops falling in the ocean. The individual consciousness merging in the infinite consciousness. When that individual drop is lost in the ocean, who is there to describe that now I have become the ocean? So this, there is a problem in spirituality when it comes to the ultimate state. When you don't exist, then you have the ultimate experience. But then you are not there to describe the whole state. So if someone says, I can describe the ultimate state, no, run away from there. But if someone says, I can help you experience that state, then you must have little faith. Just as you have a faith in a pilot taking you from Washington DC to San Francisco, you surrender and say, okay, this pilot is genuine. He's been taking many flights every day. You know, you don't look for the certificate. So something like that happens in spirituality also. You have to have little, little faith, just a little bit. Afterward, you can test all that you can. Once you are healed from inside to a certain extent, once you gain some level of peace and calmness in your life through these practices, you can expose a little more, open up your heart a little more, you experience a little more. As your heart opens, you, you invite more and more and more love from the world. And a time comes, your heart has no walls left, then see, you're fully open. And that's when the ultimate experience this engulfs you.